Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with my weekly Scrap Backwards post. And I'm going to tell you that how I worked backwards this time is starting with my Calvin Ball list. And I have a list here of the 58 permanent rules and the 61 um, temporary rules, and some of them have been crossed out, so they've been uh, removed. But there are, uh, by this count, you know, over a hundred things I could put on or do or, or ways I could do my layout. So I kind of started with that and started pulling from my Scrap Backwards kit um, things that I thought would get me points. And as I kind of pulled things out, uh, I actually came up with this. Uh, I, I found this sticker sheet and saw the word family. And then I remembered that I had this uh, family selfie from when I went to visit my sister Patrice. And my brother Alden came um, to meet us and we all had dinner together. And this was the selfie we took as we were just getting ready to part ways before I would go back to my hotel and, and uh, he would take Patrice home. So I'm gonna use this photo and I'll show you the papers I'm using. These are papers I, and, and I have this thing of, um, of, of various embellishments that may or may not get me points um, that were something that I packed for that trip. So these are papers I might have trouble using. These are, um, I guess they're Prima. I think they're Prima. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, and I, I don't say that to um, criticize or diss Prima papers, but I'm not a fan of this style. Um, these colors are kind of pretty. Um, not, not a fan of, you know, I don't know, angels and stuff. So this is another sheet. These are from a, um, mind the scrap kit. And I think Adam sent them to me. I think they're part of the original batch of papers that Adam sent me but I could be wrong. I'm gonna use this one as a background paper and I'm gonna cut this one into strips. Oh, forgot to tell you. I'm using a scrap of sketch sketch. I think it's number 61. Let me pull this out and I can show you so that it, it's uh, very simple. It has an, an outline, a border, a cluster here, cluster here, cluster here, three strips of paper and a film strip and then a photo and and I'm gonna go crazy with it, with Calvin Ball points, of course. So what I'm gonna do now is cut, I think I need, um, and I'm gonna cut four inches off of this because I need eight inch slices of the paper. And I'll kind of put that off to the side. And the way the pattern is working, I think I should be able to get um, three slices that look fairly different. I'm gonna cut this one kind of up to the purple part. And then I'm gonna cut my slice from there. And I'm gonna get a blue one. So I'll have a pink, a purple, and a blue. So I won't use that. And I'm cutting eight inch by one and a half inch slices. And I'm not doing that for any particular reason. I didn't do any fancy measuring or, um, or calculating of anything. It just kind of looks like what might work with my photo. So I've got my strips and in order for them to kind of stand out, I'm going to kind of cover up some of this brick and, and other stuff. 
um, let's see. Yeah, see, that's gonna need some uh, inking to make it make them stand out. So I think inking is one of the uh, point getters for Calvin Ball. And normally I might achieve this um, differentiation, I guess, of the stripes against the background by, um, by adding foam to the back. And I'm going to do that for sure, but um, I'll kind of, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm questioning my own sanity in um, using this kind of flowery, lacy sort of paper, but there's something, we had just walked out of a restaurant and my brother had paid. And so this kind of looks like a, a restaurant receipt here. Um, I don't have any other explanation for why that might work. And it might not, who knows. But I think once I add all of the Calvin Ball points on, and I'm not gonna try to even get close to having them all. I just have not, uh, I've been kind of, I've done a sort of half-hearted um, effort at Calvin Ball this year. And I kind of wanted to do one where I, um, I sort of go crazy. So I should have used that side because that side would stand out, but I'm kind of worried that the pattern might not have worked. Okay, and this is gonna be a long video and I kind of know that at the start, um, but I get every Calvin Ball year, I get uh, questions about how I do Calvin Ball layouts. And I, I do them, I, I've probably done them differently this year than I have in the past. I've, I've done, I've used the rules as much more of a checklist in the past. I'm gonna kinda do, well, actually before I put these down, let me put something of a border with rub-ons. I don't think rub-ons are on the list, but I have these rub-ons and I really want to use them. So I'm just going to kind of put them down there and get as much on there as possible. Let me see if I can do this. I'll just These are very old and they're kind of stitches. There is a Calvin Ball point for scalloped border. And I say, I'm not gonna go all the way around with that. I'm gonna do the rest up here. But I am gonna do and, and there's, um, there was a point for stitching, but that's been removed. And I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm actually uh, standing in as admin on Calvin Ball um, because Alice is on a vacation trip. And I hate stitching. So When I was updating the rules, that's one of the rules I removed. <laughs> I just, I haven't done any stitching yet. And I, I don't know, you know, there are no Calvin Ball police, rules police to, to stop and check and make sure you've abided by the rules. So there's the scallopy border. And I'm gonna do another bit of it kind of up here. I'm doing it a little bit different at the top and at the bottom. I'm not gonna add that red because that's a an odd color. In fact, I'm worried about 
how all of these colors that are on here are gonna look with that family title, but we'll see. Okay, that came out just perfect, kind of imperfect the way I wanted it. So I'm gonna, it has kind of separated from its package and I don't want the uh, robots touching each other. So I clip them together like this and, and roll it around and I'm determined to use it just as soon as I possibly can. We get a point for vellum and a point for a tag. So I'm gonna pull this vellum tag here. Let me see if I have a better vellum tag. Another vellum tag that's a prettier color, let's say. Um, I'm not seeing one, so I'll just kind of sneak that in somewhere in there. Okay, so let me get my trimmer back out. I'm going to trim my photo. And I had a scrap piece of photo paper, and I printed it so that it would fit and not overfill it. So now I'm just cutting the uh, borders, trimming the, the borders there. Okay, and I'm going to put some foam behind it. Let me get that. I'm going to put it on after I get these stripes on. So, uh, this goes with this, but I don't want to take the time to get it straight, so I'll just kind of slap it over there. Okay. I'm going to do this and hope it's parallel. This just give to me, when the colors are as similar as these colors are, it just gives a bit of texture. And I kind of like that. It's subtle and, and it doesn't define anything to clearly that would limit you in, in any way. So now let's look at how, I, I think I need my um, uh, film strip. And there is a, a point for acetate. And I have this acetate film strip that I think would work better. So I'm going to use it like this. And then I can embellish so that that looks like a more uh, complete film strip. I'm just going to do it like that. And I'm going to get a little bit of glue. Hmm. Oh my goodness, the, uh, the top, my pin broke off. So, what am I going to do? Let me see. I have some glossy accents here. Let me see if that's flowing freely. I haven't used it in a while either. Okay. I, uh, I'm not sure what happened to my liquid glue there. I think the pins, just sometimes the heads are not on there very well. So let's see if this flows at all. Yes. Okay. So this is my glue for today, and I'll work on this when the 
video is done. Okay, and I want to add a this little piece of um, of vellum, and I know that liquid glue will make it. Um, kind of curl, so I'm going to just put a tiny bit. Okay, I, because there's, there are these scallopy kinds of things, for some reason I thought that a doily might work here, and I kind of like things like doilies as um, foundation pieces for embellishing. So I'm going to just kind of put this down here and then I'll hope that I can find the right number and shape and size of things to put on it. Um, I know that one of the points we can get is for a musical symbol. And I think um, I've been using these uh, fussy cut, cassette tapes as my um, musical symbols. And I try to use them a little bit differently each time I use them. I haven't put them on every layout, but I have this sheet here and it's easy to be influenced by it to use it. So I'm gonna kind of do that and just lay it at a little bit of an angle. Well, you know, I have it upside down. Let's do it this way. And then I'm going to add, because it's got a little bit of yellow and there's a little bit of yellow in the photo, I'm gonna use a yellow enamel dot right there where the hole is in the tag. And I don't have to use any more enamel dots. It only requires one. So I'm gonna put that away. Um, I think there's a, uh, a point for rhinestones or bling. And I have a couple, let's, let's use one of these. I'm going to use it, and I think it has enough sticky on it. I'll use it. I hate to, I should be doing this at the end where I can see that there are some accents. So let me do the title. And, and I know it's, it's an odd color to be using on this background. And I'm aware of that and I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to kind of do, I'll do that. And then I can put this stick away. There's a point for puffy uh, stickers and these are puffy alphabet stickers. So I'm just going to kind of start putting the things I've used over on the chair. There's a point for a cut file and there's a point for rainbow. And I happen to have a rainbow cut file. I'm gonna cut around these rainbow symbols and I'm gonna use let's see. like that. I've got this that can go tucked maybe right in there. And I think that's fine. It's just, I'm layering kind of, um, fairly, 
uncomplicated things. You know, this is open, that's open. The um, And my glue is not flowing too terribly well here. Okay, there. And anytime you just kind of tuck things around and you can see several layers in, through it, I, I like that uh, design. Okay, there's also a point for a travel symbol, and I had traveled to see them. There's also a point for clear stickers. So I kind of like using this little clear globe. And I'm trying, there's also a point for a bird. And I'm going to use this little yellow bird uh, somewhere, maybe right up here behind the rainbow. There's a point for food and drink. And there's a pear here. There's also a point for the color green, and the pear is green. So I'm going to just kind of tuck the pear right there for the heck of it. Um, there's also a point for, okay, I've already got the travel. There's a, the m method of, of transportation would have worked there, um, the bicycle or the car, but I think I don't need anything else from there. There's a point for chipboard. So I'm going to take this piece of chip. There's this one that says hello today, and I kind of like it would actually bring in the colors better. It wouldn't be so matchy-matchy as this one would be. So I think I'm going to use it just because it's so unexpected with this background. And that actually, I wouldn't have needed the tag, but I would have needed the vellum, so that's fine. There's also a point for a metal embellishment. And this piece right here seems to work. I'm gonna put it right there. And I'm gonna move these over. I no longer need those things. I need a heart and a star, and I know that on here there are some stars. I'm going to take this, or I mean hearts, I'm going to take this little black heart and kind of put it right there. I was hoping to find a white heart. I need an arrow. So I'm going to use this black arrow that says love, and I'm going to put it kind of across these two. I think I don't need anything else from there. Um, I need glasses. I get a, um, a point for glasses. So I'm going to fussy cut these glasses out of here. The words say Geek Chic. It's from a, the Smarty Pants collection by Fancy Pants from many years ago. And it may be that the only thing I'm going to use there is these glasses. And they kind of repeat some of the black and white elements that are going to show up here. So I'm going to lay these 
kind of right there. Let me get a small puffy dot. Oh, don't have any left. Oh, yeah, there's one. Is that? Nope. I must be saving that just for the, the pattern because I can do mixed media through that. So I need to put that someplace else. Um, let's see. Here, I can cut off a small piece of this. And I can balance that pair of glasses there. Let's see how this works. Oh my goodness. I'm, um, I, I know a bunch of you have asked uh, about some of my <laughs> medical issues that I um, discovered over the past week. And I'm, I'm not quite sure how to even, I'm going to just put that there just to have a place for it. And if I want to move it, I, I can do that. I don't think I need anything else here. I have the heart already. Um, the color blue, I need the color blue. There's a blue flower right there and there are blue flowers there. So I don't need anything. They, there's a point for using numbers and not in a date. And right here is a tiny little tag that um, says three plus four equals seven. And it's kind of silly. It means nothing, but it uses numbers and it's not a date. So I will be stamping a date on here. I am going to have to look up exactly what the what the date is. Let me just kind of slide this over here. Just a tiny little embellishment that means nothing but adds a bit of color and a tiny bit of interest. Uh, let's see, is there anything here that I need? Uh, there's some more glasses. Books, I think, are on there and cam a camera. And I've got a little stack of books and a camera here. Um, there are clusters. Let me get the original back up and kind of Oh, that's not the photo I want. Um, there's a cluster down at this end, and I've got mine here, and then there's one here. So I've already messed up the whole idea of clusters, of, of the locations of the clusters. So I'm just going to keep building. Uh, I'm, I, I'm unlikely to build one around here or maybe start one down here with a larger element at some point. But right now... I'm just, I don't think this stack of books and the camera is big enough to add, to start a cluster with. So there are flowers and teacups and things like that. Not gonna use any more from there. I've got uh, this wood veneer heart. I don't need a heart, but I do need wood veneer. And it was a really good day. I hadn't seen my brother in a while, and we'd had um, fairly good news from Patricia's doctor that day. So it was um, it was a and we we just enjoyed. It was like we, you know, <laughs> like it used to be talking about music and giving each other trivia quizzes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna kinda, I'll do it like that, where I, I end up with that 
part overlapping that one. So that does my wood, wood, wood veneer. I need a um, something that is in a, uh, a typewriter font. And I, this is a, um, one of the sheets of um, paper snips from Bramble Fox. And it has the word together here, and it is in a typewriter font. So I'm just gonna kind of slide it in, uh, maybe right here. We'll do, do that. I'll write on top of the photo. Now, I need a star. Used to, I'd need the color silver, but that, that one has been eliminated. So I'm just gonna pick a silver star and add it kinda right there. Don't need anything else from there. There is a point for a butterfly, and that is a big old gigantic butterfly. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I don't need that butterfly. Although, if I put it down here, let's just see something. I can cut it in half It's, this is an old um, sticker sheet. Let's see if I can cut it in half and then tuck it under and then put something over the friend part. I can kind of do that. I'm, um, I'm kind of worried that I'm, I'm not, uh, doing much to bring all of this, uh, into compatibility with that background <laughs> just between you and me. It's, uh, it's looking like something of a mess. I need to stamp and I'm going to do a date stamp, but I kind of, well, I, I'm, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do another stamp. Um, there's also a, uh, a point for using a stencil. And I'm going to use this as a stencil. I'm going to do it this way. Turn it upside down. And I'm going to get my pen and just kind of do some circles in there. There and maybe up here. And I might kinda scribble in here. I don't, I can't remember if doodling is on there or not, but that would count as doodling if it is that stenciling and doodling. And it's really just, just to add a little goofy interest to things. Okay. Now, I'm going to, there is a point for a penguin, and you know I have penguins because John loves penguins, so I have this little purple penguin, Patrice loves penguins, so I'm going to put this penguin right there, but I want something else there because it's not going to completely cover that up. Let's see if I have anything in this st 
sticker book. There is a bug right here. It, we get a point for a circle. And so that bug is on a circle. And I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll see if that works. And I need a sequin. I need a sunflower and a sequin. You know I must have had something to do with the sunflower rule. Let me see if I have, and there's a one for a bee. So I usually use my bees for pages about Barrett, but I have these fairly innocuous uh, little stickers that I think I can hide somewhere. Actually, why would I hide it? Maybe I'll do it like that, kind of climbing up onto... Okay, there's a point for acrylic and there's a point for sunflower. So why not use an acrylic sunflower? This is a Bramble Fox um, sunflower. Let's see, I have to pull the back from it. And where does it want to go? Maybe right down there. And this is a um, you know, one of those pages that I'm almost not uh, caring whether things, you know, run or not. I'm going to, or, you know, match or not, I guess is the, is the, w the word I'm trying, I'm going for there. There is a point for a banner, and I've got this banner, which is a, a tag. It has some words on it, but I'm betting I can hide it. The words don't mean anything to me, so I'm going to kind of sneak it in right there. And you can see that there are words, but you can't read them. And that's fine by me. Um, there's washi tape point, And I'm going to use some of this stitching washi, maybe. right there and it kind of blends in and I can do it here as well. And it's, I've got my three stitches here and three stitches here. It, it kind of, um, kind of balances. Okay. And I don't think there's anything else in this sticker book that I need. Um, scalloped border, I have that. Where do I have a scalloped border? The scallops on the, uh, the stitching there. That will work. A ticket. Um, these are tickets right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and maybe do something under here just kind of have it sticking out there um there's the color gold i haven't used any gold anywhere i don't think um 
The metal on here is kind of a pink gold. I think that would probably work okay. So I think I'm going to use it. Use one of these little um, little arrow thingies. Arrow thingies. That's an official scrapbooking term. Okay, now. I'm going to take envelope by envelope and see what I have in here that might uh, do a point. Let me, let me just kind of briefly look at the, oh, turtle. I know I have turtles somewhere. Uh, let's see, a metal embellishment, enamel dot, key or lock or clock. I don't think I have any of that stuff in here. I've got this vellum. I've got tag. We've got a lot of things that would get you points, but nothing that I need on this layout. So I'm going to put this aside. Here, hearts and stars. I have... Um, a heart and I have a star on here, so I don't think I need anything here, anything from here. Uh, I have a rainbow also. Okay, now this is all kinds of florals and there's something there with gold on it. Let's see, cactus. I don't remember if there's, uh, well, I do know that there's a sequin and I, I want to grab a sequin before I forget. And I'm just going to grab the first package that's out there and I'm going to grab a big old sequin from it and just kind of put it right here. Let's see, where's mine? It's not. <laughs> this is so frustrating. I have, um, I should have checked the glue ahead of time, but I made a video yesterday and everything was fine. <laughs> Not quite sure what happened there. Okay, the color gold I've got there. If I had needed it, I have these acetate leaves. But I got a point for acetate, so I'm going to use the leaves, the acetate leaves anyway. And maybe it might work right here. I'm going to kind of scooch it up under there, and you can see those those uh, stencil dots are there. Okay, and I have vellum, I have cactus. I don't think cactus is on there. It usually is, but I'm not seeing it. Um, Disney, I think somewhere in my stuff. Here I have a some Disney, some Mickey little tiny Mickey Mouse heads. Snail, I don't have a snail, and I don't have a hedgehog here now. Twine or jute, um, a little twine or jute through the. Let's do this. Just a tiny little bit of it. And what I'm going to do is see if I can just glue it on this tag. Because I don't want to try to have to thread the tag. That works. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, a die cut. Um, I haven't used anything that is a die cut. I die cut this little uh, 
flower, wallflower from some packaging. And I'm thinking it might work just as a little accent down here. So I'm doing There we go. I'm not, I'm just kind of clustering all my clusters around the photo and that's perfectly fine. This is a pack of words, titles, things like that. I don't think there's anything here that I have to use. Um, here is a hedgehog and I'm going to use it right there. Why not? I didn't know that I had one of those left. I have used a couple of them. These were given to me by a friend of mine named Colleen. And I have sometimes um, colored them. Other times I've just used them raw and I'm going to use this one raw. So I've got it right there. So it's over and this little wildflower appears to be coming out of nowhere there. There's um, a point for a dog or a cat and I have this cute little dog here. I hate to cut this. This was um, Ooh, there's a smaller, oh, a snail, a snail. I found a snail, yay. Um, this dog, uh, stamped image of the dog next to a, a fire hydrant was stamped and sent to me by my friend Helen. And let's see where I can put the snail. Where do we want the snail? Maybe right here by the, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right there, kind of over underlapping the, um, the sequin, but overlapping the butterfly. So I'm going to use this adorable little dog and that gets me my, stamping point and also the dog point and I will find another way to use the hydrant if I find another dog in another collection I can use the hydrant as a humorous element when I build a cluster with that dog so see I'm already planning Helen to Use the dog. Now, what would be funny is Helen and I have had discussions about my um, dislike for the color brown. And of course, my title is brown, so go figure. Um, and so what would be funny is if I colored this little dog brown. Let me, uh, there's, I get a point for watercolors. And so let me pull a brown um, distress oxide and I'm going to get a paintbrush and I'm going to spray a little water on the distress oxide and <laughs> it'd be helpful if I use the right end of the brush and I will just I'm gonna put this in here and I'll get the color down yeah kinda. there we go can you even can you see that so I'm watercoloring my dog 
And if I didn't, if I weren't going to stamp the date, well, you know what? I don't have to stamp the date. I can handwrite the date because I get a point for handwriting. So this counts as my stamping and my watercoloring and my dog. So yay. Um, let me put this aside so I can get that clean and I'll put it away with that. Let me get this guy. And I don't know where I'm going to put him. Yeah, I guess over there by the snail is a, as good a place as any. Okay. <laughs> this is silly. I know it's silly, and I don't care. I think that's part of the fun. It's, it is all of the fun. And I don't have to have a, a perfect um, layout that makes sense every time. I did one yesterday that was published today for um, Scrap Squad Sunday that was had a few Calvin Ball points, but the purpose of it was to do a good scrap lift and to do a page that celebrated Ava going to see Taylor Swift. So let me take a look at this and kind of see if there's anything easy. My handwriting. So I'm going to say uh, we went to, this was the eighth. So this was, um, where do I want to write the date? I'm going to say March 8th, 2023. New Iberia, it's the three Sonyes. Okay, so uh, star, I have it, a die cut, I have it, striped paper. I don't think there's any striped paper on here and there won't be. Stamp, stencil, I've done that. Add a date, use a frame. Do I have anything that looks like a frame that I could just kind of tuck in there? I think in here, there is something that could work as a frame. There's this, which is a, um, it's a frame within a frame. And I'm gonna take the skinniest one, the inside one, and maybe use it. I wish I hadn't glued that down. I wonder if I can lift it up. I can, not neatly, but there. And now I'm gonna glue it down. And it's, not cooperating, but in the meantime, let me add, I don't have an avocado on here, and I, I have an avocado stamp, so I will use that, and I, because I, I like doing my avocado stamp inside the frame, so I've done that a couple times, and I think it's kind of cute. Let's see. There we go, and this is a gray stamp, so it's, okay. <laughs> the avocado is chasing the hedgehog, and that's kind of the story of Calvin Ball's life. Um, let me see if I've got that cup of embellishments that has the Disney stuff. I'm not seeing it anywhere on my table, so I may not find it during the video, but I can go add it later. Um, torn paper. I don't have any torn paper on here. A doily, a circle, title with two fonts. I can do another 
Um, let's do that. I can add the word fun and it'll have two fonts. Let's see, F, U, and N. Let's try that. Family. This is really goofy. And it adds a bunch more colors that have no business on this page. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the star off. I'm gonna move the F over and the U. So my title will have two fonts. And, whoops, what did I do? I lost something. There's my star. Here we go. Okay, so, um, polka dot pattern. There's a polka dot pattern on that U. Um, cloud. I don't have a cloud. Is there a cloud anywhere on here? Um, how about we draw a cloud right here? And another thing there, and then I'm going to kind of color it in white right there. You have no idea that that does not look at anything at all like a cloud. So if I can find a cloud to paste over that, I will. I don't think I have anything right handy. Flag, musical symbols, books, branding strips, branding strips. Haven't used any branding strips. Um, label, I think I have a label somewhere. But I think you've got the idea. This is kind of one of those crazy Calvin Ball pages that makes absolutely no sense, but it's a perfect use for all of the random things that I happen to have in my Scrap Backwards kit. And I pulled the stuff, um, found this title, that led me to my photo, and then I kind of used this as a checklist and kind of went through and, and pulled things. So it, it's been, uh, this was fun, and I hope it wasn't too torturous for you. And uh, thank you for joining. Bye.